Hey guys, I got a new toy here from Mike Edwards. Uh, sent me this, and I thought I'd do a little video review on it. Um, it's his, I call it sort of the cube target, but uh, it's Mike Edwards' uh, bell target. But basically, it's a really simple design on a bell target he came up with. Different size uh, holes in it for, you know, depending on how far away or how much challenge you want to give yourself. But a uh, real simple design goes together really simply. Uh, you mount it to a tree and um, or a post. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. All right, here's the uh, basic design here. It's really simple. Um, no moving parts really to speak of, so that's a good thing. Uh, the only maintenance you're gonna have to do to it is painting it and maybe after a lot of wear, maybe this cord might have to be replaced. But besides that, it's uh, pretty tough. Uh, all you have to do to get started is feed this cord through the hole uh, to suspend the bell. So it's just a matter of uh, getting this cord to thread through the holes. Pull the cord through and then uh, tie a knot on this end just so it doesn't fall, fall out. Um, tip you want to make sure you do is give this cord enough slack where the bell will kind of dangle below your screw that you're going to uh, insert through here into the tree or post or whatever. Uh, you want that bell to dangle below that and not touch the screw. So um, basically that's how uh, it goes together. Uh, there's different hole sizes here. We've got a 3 8 inch, inch hole, half inch, uh, three quarters, and then a one inch hole. So that's really good for field people who are practicing for field target, get some small kill zones. Also, if you're not in the field target and uh, you just want to challenge, um, you know, the smaller hole might be better. Or if you're shooting from a, a further distance, you might want a full one inch uh, kill zone or uh, target hole. Uh, or if you've got a small space and you just uh, you don't have a whole lot of space, but you want to challenge, you know, you can go down to a really small uh, target. So uh, that's how it's put together. We're going to put it on the tree now, and I'm going to what I'm going to do is shoot the bell and try to let you hear the different sound it makes from uh, the bell versus hitting the the face plate here. So I had an idea, I thought maybe uh, about replacing this cord with zip ties, you know, just in case this cord was to get um, frayed or worn. And um, so I'm going to try some zip ties instead just to see if it works and how the, if it sounds any different. So let's give that a try. So the zip ties seem to work pretty good too, and I kind of like the sound it makes with that. So that's a good option. So there you go. There's uh, Mike Edwards' uh, bell target. I think it works really good. It, uh, I hope you can tell on the video the different sound it makes hitting the faceplate versus the bell. It's uh, it's noticeable in person, and um, you know it's it's a it's a nice bell target. I like it a lot. It's uh, dead eye approved. So. Uh, if you're interested, contact Mike Edwards and he'll get you one sent out in the mail. Um, I'll put his contact information in the, the links or the comments section below. So check that out. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.